Arnold Schwarzenegger is a man of many talents, but he has already cemented his place in pop culture as the Terminator and renowned bodybuilder. Plus, the man recently celebrated his 75th birthday. For today's video, we'll be sharing with you Arnold Schwarzenegger's 10 best performances from Terminator to Twins in celebration of his birthday. At the 10th spot, we have the classic rom-com Junior. Ivan Reitman directed and produced the 1994 American comedy picture Junior, which starred Arnold Schwarzenegger, Danny DeVito, and Emma Thompson. The movie centers on Australian-American scientist Alex Hess, who consents to use an experimental medication Expectane to induce a male pregnancy. The movie was released in the United States on November 23, 1994, the day before Thanksgiving. It received mixed reviews and underperformed at the box office compared to Reitman's earlier movies with Schwarzenegger, including Kindergarten Cop and Twins, 1988 which also starred DeVito and Schwarzenegger in comedic roles. In addition to receiving Golden Globe nominations for their roles, Patti Smith's Look What Love Has Done, the movie's theme song, also gained praise and went on to win an Academy Award nomination for Best Original Song. Next, we have one of the most iconic roles he ever played that made him leave his mark in the action genre forever, Predator. Arnold Schwarzenegger plays the leader of an elite paramilitary rescue team in Predator, the first entry in the Predator franchise. The team is sent to rescue hostages in a guerrilla-held terror territory in a Central American rainforest when they come into contact with the deadly predator, played by Kevin Peter Hall, a cunning, technologically advanced alien who stalks and hunts them down. The movie was released by 20th Century Fox on June 12, 1987, in the US, where it made $98.3 million. Although the movie's first reviews were unfavorable, it's now regarded as a classic of the action and science fiction genres, as well as one of the best movies of the 1980s. Predator's popularity sparked a media empire that includes movies, books, comic books, video games, and toys. It produced three sequels. Number eight on today's list, we have another action-packed film, Commando. The 1985 American action movie Commando, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, Ray Don Chong, Alyssa Milano, Vernon Wells, Bill Duke, and Dan Hedaya, was directed by Mark L. Lester. On October 4th, 1985, the movie was released in the United States. The movie was praised for its hilarious humor and fast-paced action. The movie was up for a Saturn Award for Best Special Effects, but back to the future took home the prize. James Horner composed the movie's music. Commando was a commercial success, earning $25 million worldwide, ranking as the seventh highest grossing R-rated movie of 1985. In the seventh spot, we have another Schwarzenegger-DeVito tandem in the movie, Twins. Ivan Reitman produced and directed the buddy comedy Twins in 1988. In the movie, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito play unusual fraternal twin brothers who were split up at birth. The contrast between intelligent but naive Julius and streetwise Vincent, DeVito, serves as the movie's central theme. Schwarzenegger has a lot of memorable moments, such as sleeping on Kelly Preston's motel bed and reciting emergency protocol. The movie was a commercial success, earning $216 million worldwide. Schwarzenegger, DeVito, and Reitman agreed with the company to accept 40% of the movie's box office receipts in exchange for their customary wages, earning them the largest paychecks of their cinematic careers. Next up, on the sixth spot, we have Kindergarten Cop, which is another film directed by the late Ivan Reitman. In Kindergarten Cop, Richard Tyson plays the heroin dealer Colin Crisp, and Arnold Schwarzenegger plays John Kimball, a strong police officer who goes undercover as a kindergarten teacher to catch Crisp before he can reach his ex-wife and little kid. Kimball considers changing careers to become an instructor after discovering a passion for teaching while working undercover. His partner Phoebe O'Hara is portrayed by Pamela Reed, while Joyce, the teacher who becomes his love interest, is portrayed by Penelope Ann Miller. Randy Edelman wrote the music for the movie's original soundtrack. The movie made $202 million worldwide after its December 21st, 1990 release in the U.S. And we're now at the upper half of today's list. At the number five spot, we have the film that's forever tied to Schwarzenegger, The Terminator. James Cameron directed the science fiction action movie The Terminator in 1984. It features Arnold Schwarzenegger as The Terminator, a robotic assassin who is sent back in time from the year 2029 to the year 1984 to kill Sarah Connor, Linda Hamilton, whose unborn child will one day save humanity from extinction by Skynet, a hostile artificial intelligence in a dystopian future. Michael Bain plays Kyle Reese, a soldier sent back in time to safeguard Sarah. Cameron and producer Gail Ann Hurd are given credit for writing the screenplay, with co-writer William Wisher Jr. receiving an added dialogue credit. Even while sporting just one iconic look, Schwarzenegger commands attention in the franchise opener. His few line readings stand out, such as, I'll be back, which entered the cultural zeitgeist and is still well known today. Continuing at the number four spot, we have Total Recall. 
Hall, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Rachel Ticotten, Sharon Stone, Ronnie Cox, and Michael Ironside are among the cast members of the Paul Verhoeven-directed movie, which also features a screenplay by Ronald Shusett, Dan O'Bannon, and Gary Goldman. Total Recall, based on the 1966 Philip K. Dick short story, We Can Remember It For You Wholesale, tells the tale of Douglas Quaid, Schwarzenegger, a construction worker who is implanted with the memory of a fanciful Mars experience. He then discovers that his adventure is actually taking place as members of a shadowy organization attempt to block him from regaining memories of his past as a Martian secret agent working to overthrow tyrant Vilos Kohagen. Cox. And now, on to the top three. Placing third in his best movies is Maggie. We have to admit, this one is a far cry from his usual action-packed genre, which is a welcome surprise for us. The 2015 American post-apocalyptic horror drama movie Maggie was written by John Scott III and directed by Henry Hobson on his directorial debut, and starred Arnold Schwarzenegger, Abigail Breslin, and Jolie Richardson. For Schwarzenegger, who is best renowned for his performances in action movies, Maggie represents a drastic change of pace. The movie's global debut was originally scheduled for the 2014 Toronto Film Festival, but Lionsgate acquired the American distribution rights and removed the movie from the festival's schedule. Instead, it had its world premiere as part of the Tribeca Film Festival 2015 on April 23, 2015, and was then simultaneously released on VOD and in limited theaters on May 8, 2015. And now we're finally at the top two, and it's none other than the spy comedy True Lies. James Cameron wrote and directed the 1994 American spy action comedy movie True Lies. It was executive produced by Lawrence Kazanoff and stars Charlton Heston, Bill Paxton, Eliza Dushku, Jamie Lee Curtis, Tom Arnold, Art Malik, Tia Carrera, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's based on the French comedy La Totale from 1991. The story revolves around American government agent Harry Tasker, Schwarzenegger, who tries to manage his dual roles as a spy and a family man. True Lies was the first significant production for both the visual effects studio Digital Domain, which Cameron co-founded, and the first Lightstorm Entertainment project to be distributed as part of Cameron's multi-million dollar production pact with 20th Century Fox. Additionally, it was the first movie with a budget that cost $100 million. In recognition of her work, Curtis received the Saturn Award for Best Actress and the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress, Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy, while Cameron received the Saturn Award for Best Director. In the end, the movie made $378 million at the box office, placing it behind The Lion King and Forrest Gump as the third highest grossing movie of 1994. And finally, Arnold Schwarzenegger's best movie of all time is none other than Terminator 2 Judgment Day. The device that travels through time to guard John Connor, Edward Furlong, the head of the resistance, called on every acting skill in Schwarzenegger's toolbox without exceeding his bounds. He has great chemistry with Sarah Connor, Linda Hamilton, and they battle the evil T-1000, Robert Patrick. He even gets to touch the audience's heart as he is dropped into the steel, but only after discovering what it means to be human. James Cameron and William Wisher co-wrote the script for the 1991 American science fiction action movie Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which Cameron also directed. It is the Terminator franchise's second entry and features Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton, Robert Patrick, and Edward Furlong in addition to being the sequel to The Terminator. In its premise, the evil AI Skynet sends a Terminator, a highly developed killing machine, back in time to 1995 to murder John Connor, the future leader of the human resistance, when he's a young boy. To safeguard Connor and guarantee the survival of mankind, the resistance sends back a modified, less advanced Terminator. And with that, we're wrapping up today's episode about Arnold Schwarzenegger's 10 best movies of all time. Tell us in the comments section below which one is your favorite and why. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.